Hello everybody, this is Drew and Ailer. Previously on Xenoblade 3, we were told that we had, as part of setting the world to rights, we had to go to go break into a prison to rescue Yondor. And we also, shortly after that, we got our own boat to, you know, go to the prison. Wherever it is, I don't exactly know. Hang on. Oh, we have to go to... Oh, we have to complete the castle beckons. To... Com to for going to the... To get into the prison. But first, I'm gonna go on to this island. And then we can actually uh, go up to this enemy and go fight it, I guess. Um... Wait a minute. This is there's something wrong. I, I'm supposed to be playing Wind Waker. Hang on. Let's run away from that. We need to. Go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. Oh. Okay, good. Now we can go back into the boat, and for some reason it's... I'm, I think I need to be playing Wind Waker right now. Uh, let's try going into the... into the cabin. We need... and then I'll go back out and see if that fixes it. ZL and down. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Alright, we're in the cabin now. I'm just gonna go right back out and see if we're back in Wind Waker again. How many- where's Noah? That's so weird. He doesn't even- he's not even in this scene. Huh. Okay, now that we're back in the correct game, on the correct console, we can begin the episode properly. Hello everybody, this is Drew Nailer. Previously on Wind Waker, we, um, we upgraded the Picto Box, finally. And now we have the Pictobox Deluxe, and it can take full color pictures. Oh, and we used it to take a picture of the full moon, and we got another treasure chart. I don't exactly remember what else we got. Oh, we also traded in that picture that we got for um, a statue that of Ganondorf that will be um, made soon. I don't exactly remember what else we did. Actually, now that I think about it, we didn't do that much. But, um, let's not think about that. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is go into this place here. First talk to this character. Oh my! That battery of mounted guns is a dangerous thing. If only someone could blow the entire lot of them to bits. It is such a shame that they exist, for there is something wonderful hidden there. Right there. Yeah, even though I... Oh, that's a crab. You know, I read something somewhere, I don't remember what it was. Maybe I watched a video, maybe it was on Did You Know Gaming, I think it was. Apparently the, the crabs were supposed to be interactable, but that was a really late addition, so they didn't have time to do it. Um, yeah. Kinda sad. There's nothing in that rock. Um... But we're gonna lift this headstone. It's really heavy though. And jump down here. Oh, and we went into a hole in the ice ring. Ice ring. I. Ice ring aisle. And uh, we. We got uh, 100 rupees. So this is actually a, what's called a grotto or a. a uh, um, a challenge dungeon or something. I don't know the real, the correct answer for it. I didn't know it would be in here. But here's some... Oh. Um. Um. I don't remember what they're called right now. Thank you. 
Got one. Got another one. And got the last one. Oh. There we go. Ah, much quieter now. I'm sorry for how loud that was. Or how annoying that was. So, I didn't even know that this is what was here. Um, and that lights that torch. And let's go to the next one. Oh, this one's Moblins. Just Moblins. It'll be really easy. Oops. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, same one. Probably same one. One of the ones that were already in here. Yeah, I think there were just... That one is just one of the ones that were already in here. Alright. Let's go. To the next room. And you can tell if you completed a room already because there's fire on top of it. See? But I just go around like this. Oh, that's the entrance. And no, that's the ex exit. That's the, um... Stoffos? No, it was robes. Didn't even need the arrows on that one. Oh, heart. There we go. And we just go back out here. And that lights the flame. At least we don't have to steal flames from anything. That would be a really dark game. Oh, that's a lot of enemies right here. Oh, I forgot about grabbing the joy pendants. Oh, now the, um... Now the dark nuts are out, so we need to do that. There we go. And then... No. Hey, do you think... What do you think about my sail? Nope. Oh, gotta pull the sword out. Break this, and there's some rupees. And before we leave, you'll want to pick the, up these swords, attack these pillars, and get a bunch of rupees. I mean, these are only green rupees, but it's several. Oh, that one's a red rupee. So you never know what's going to be in them until you until you break them, or unless these are already pre-programmed. Not like. Oh uh, yeah, that's arrows. And, oops, you can get it hurt by that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of rupees in that one. So make sure you break all the arrow, break all the pillars. So which one? Oh yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, here's the 
Hylian crest up there. Oh, yep, up there. With the bird, loft wing. There we go. And we want to go through here. And then play the wind's rick requiem. No. And then that causes a chest to appear. What's in the chest? Well... You got a Triforce chart! You can't read it yourself, so you'll have to get it deciphered somewhere. Yeah. Tingle is how you get them deciphered. And they're very expensive. And you have to decipher them. So, um, have fun. But before we, before you leave here, you ha you should break these pots because they have a lot of rupees. And, um, there's a lot in that one. And then when you go out, watch this. Don't leave yet. Go back in. And they seem to be infinitely respawning. Well, that one has nothing in there. That has nothing in there. Oh. That's too bad. Maybe... Maybe this one... Hmm. Doesn't work on this one. But there's one that does, in my experience. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out here. Maybe if you go back out here... Go in, go through all the way. Maybe then they respawn with rupees in them, but maybe not. No, no, these don't respawn. Um, there's one behind Dragon Roost Island. I'm gonna show that later. Um, when I have, when I uh, need to decode more Triforce charts. Uh, but I'm gonna. I'm going to demonstrate, as long as it's not a glitch that doesn't happen again, I'm going to demonstrate going in and out and getting tons of rupees just in like an hour or something like that, or not that long. And I'm probably going to do that between episodes so that I can safely just pause the recording and not have to worry about it. Um, so yeah. And they seem to be only green rupees there in that chest. Um, oh, that's a... Oh, wait, no, that's actual grass sticking out of the wall that has grass textures on it. Um, enemy? Oh, blue choo-choo. These are incredibly rare. And they're required for making blue choo jelly. Um, which... Blue chew jelly, chew jelly. I don't. I think I've explained this before. I think I've said this before, but you really don't need to unlock blue chew jelly because you you get a bunch of them and then take them to the jelly shop and at Windfall. You don't need them because if you get bokobaba enough bokobaba seeds, you can take them to the potion shop on um a forest haven and get blue blue potions just by trading in bokobaba seeds without having to pay for it without having to hunt down all the chew all the blue choo choos it's way easier and as you would expect you get away sooner now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... No. I'm actually going to go... I'm going to try to find the uh, oasis. I don't remember where it is. But I'm, I'm going to do that. Kind of wish that I got the... Uh, that I fed the fish before, but... 
I didn't, and now I don't know where the... Where it is. I'm just gonna look it up. Okay, it's at E5. I just looked it up in, on IGN. On this Bing search results, it says it's E5. So I don't need to actually go in there, I don't... I don't think. Only problem is I don't know if it, this is A, if this, these are the letters, or if these are the letters. Oh, actually it doesn't matter, it's right there. I counted A through E and 1 through 5 and yeah, it's just right here. South of the, um... Tower of the Gods. Alright, now it should be just right down here. And it should just be right here. Oh, the wind things have shown up. Oh yeah, this is definitely Link's, uh, Link's, Link's, I don't know. Gotta feed the fish again to add this to the map. And then this will show up as Link's cabana at the bottom. And it changes once you get the cabana. The, oh, private oasis. Link, and then it becomes Link's oasis once you hand in the cabana. Dude. So tell me, small fry. Have you heard of the golden set of Triumph Forks? It's right there, I tell you. A chart that shows you where they are in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's it. Um, yeah, so we gotta go over here. There's another Triforce chart in here. But where... Ah, here's the part where we can, um, get down here. Gotta cut the grass because it's, it, because there's a lot of grass here and that's a, that's a tick hazard. And it's gonna be, it's Link's Oasis now. Oops, I cut the flowers. That's fine. Oh, that's a light. Oh, oh, one. One flying seagull. Ah, ah, ah. No, two. Two flying seagulls. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, I see more seagulls. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Five. Ah, ah, ah. Now six, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. no, no, seven seagulls, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. eight, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. this is madness, eight seagulls, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone, you grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you. Away, I say. Yeah, well, I own it now. See? <coughs> Ugh, unclean, most foul. Don't, l don't lay those grungy hands. Wait, that, that, that's, why, that's the, are you, are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I'm so pleased to hear that name. Master Link. Please be gentle on this fine door. Oh, I didn't know that there were orange hearts and other places in the game. All right, let's go. Kind of weird to have the door handle be someone's hand. And that's just the back of the door. It's actually 3D if you look at it from an angle. See? You can jump in the tub. I didn't know that. Can't turn the water on though. And there's another 
Um, there's a made version of the butler right here. And you can play a game if you want, but that's, um, this is... Wait, where do you go for the... Oh, you go over here. Aha, master, do you have an interest in the amusements of nobility? I do indeed. Well, in that case, would you care to hear an explanation of the game? No, thank you. Um, I hate these. Needless to say, I don't care. No. I don't like these. Ah, all of a sudden, I have become painfully aware of my existence as a door. Wah, wah. Existential crisis, I guess. Which isn't fun. Um, what we need to do here is pull out the grappling hook. And as you can see, there's fire here. Can't get in there. But what you can do is gra do the grappling hook onto this thing. which will put out the fire. After all, we didn't start it. We have to put it out. And now, this is the cabana sewers. Um, and the way that you're supposed to do this is it's a maze. I don't like mazes. Rats. Um, anyway, this is a maze, and you're supposed to go down here. You know what's down here? Reeds. Let's not do that. Let's go... Now watch this video. I'll put the video link in this, the description. What we have to do is go around and hit the, the switches there. There. Got that blue rupee. Gotta go here. And hit. Um, I th I thought you could do this. Maybe maybe it's too hard for me to do this. The video made it look so easy. Let me go to it. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. You have to jump. I hope that this actually works. There we go. It does work on the GameCube version. The video that um, showed that I watched showed it on the HD version. But obviously I'm on... Um, I'm on the GameCube version, so I can't, so that wouldn't... Yeah. Okay, so it's just a little over here. There we go. There's the button for the switch. So we can just go right on in, on in here and then play the wind's requiem. I'm gonna link that video in the description. It's actually by... I actually forgot to mention that it, that it was uploaded by Requiem of Spirit. Thank you to them for uploading that video. I mean, I'm sure that I would have found it out some other way, but that video was really important. Again, thanks to them for uploading it. You got a Triforce chart. You can't... yeah. 
another Triforce turn. So we can just leave. And we completely skipped the scary part. Of course, you could probably go down there. There's probably stuff down there. I don't care. We have to leave now. Um, I don't care enough to go... Oh, wait. Oh, there's another set of switches there. I don't care enough to go through there. There's probably a piece of heart or something like that in there. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, that makes sense that grappling hooks would be used because you can... Because you can, um... You need that to put out the fire. So now that we own our own um, oasis, actually you can see here it's called Link's Oasis now. Oh, and I don't know if I've ever pointed this out or if the game has ever pointed out. That red part there is where the um, boat is. So it's really helpful to know... For, to know where it is. Because the boat doesn't, doesn't necessarily know where it is at all times. Or maybe it does. And the game just shows you. Oh, there's uh, some rupees down here, too, that we can actually get. Oh, we gotta put our stuff away. Climb down here. Oh. Oh. It's analog control, kind of, in here. Oh. It's a little difficult to to do it down here, but um, I can do it. And there, I don't, there isn't much down here. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Is there anything in here? I don't remember if there is anything inside the waterfall. Nope, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, there is actually if you jump in there. Um... Um, let's see. What else? Oh, I guess I can open the charts. And that's when it, that's how it shows that Trifor a Triforce chart hasn't been interpreted. It says that the map must be interpreted before you can read it. This is Beetle's chart. It shows where Beetle is, and also not Beetle. Here's the incredible chart that shows where all the Triforce charts are. So there's uh, one on one on outset, one on the right side, one on the top right, one on the left, and then there's two of them that you can only get one from the ghost ship, and then one from a, a gold um, bomb ship, or whatever. Tingle's chart that shows where Tingle Island is. Very helpful. And when you press back, when you press the B button, there's a clown honk sound instead of um, the standard um, back sound. And this one's not open, but it's... oops. But now it's open. So, uh, there's a few others that haven't been open. Treasure chart 24. I think that's Northern Triangle Island. Um, that might one might be Mother and Child Island. Treasure chart 30. I mean, it, that one, I don't remember what it's called, but it reminds me of the Gnome footprint. So it's, it makes me think of Gnome Island, I guess it could be called. I don't know which one that one is. 
Oh, there's another tri or treasure chart. And another one. And that's it. I've opened all of them. Now I'm gonna switch back to the C chart. There we go. So we have 14 charts. So um, yeah, that's quite a lot so far. Uh, what else should I do? Oh, I guess this is... No, I don't think it's Dragon Roost. I mean, it looks like it, but I don't think it is. Um... Yeah, here's Tingle Island. That looks like Tingle's head. Maybe I'll just go that square and fill it out. Um... I'm having a really hard time figuring out what to do today. Maybe I should just go to sleep soon. I'm kind of tired. It's late. Um. No. We need to go here. Alright. Now we can go sailing faster. That's not very helpful. No, I think it's that place up there. Actually, I think it's one of the reefs. Let me get my my bait out before I forget. Oh, it's this place. Let me... There we go. I don't like this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna f fill out this. I'm gonna fill this chart out anyway. I mean, this place on the chart. I'm gonna fill out anyway. Because. I need to use my bow and arrow. Feed fish. There we go. I don't like those. Um. Alright, let's see what this island is. Southern Triangle Island. Oh. Oh, it's the fairy islands. Not Triangle Islands. I got confused. A famed pictographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He's said to have, he's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? And that's it. Right. So we got that island. Oh, there's... Some stuff up here. I think these are just the orb things. Yeah, those are just the orb things. Um, let's go north. I got it. Oh, here's the things. And now we get some rupees as a reward for going through the first one. The gates. And here's the other one here. And then... 
Green rupee up here. I wonder if they'll... Oh, blue rupee. Blue rupee. And here's a blue one up here. No. Fish is over here. Where's the fish? Oh, I completely missed it somehow. Wait. Where's the fish? Oh, guess it's not there. Um. Maybe it's somewhere in here. Yep, the fish is right here. We can just... This is one of the reefs. This island. I don't remember which one it is. Six Eye Reef, maybe? Yeah, Six Eye Reef. That was just a guess. They've got a shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop. Did you know that, small fry? And in that shop, they've got this really fine safe that looks to be brimming full with riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. I tell you, one of these days, that thing is going to get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, fry. Of course, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the perpetrator right there and catch the rat red-handed. I'm sure if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me. Yeah, he'd be happy. That would be on the honest thing to do. Actually, let's do this up here. Gotta sail... Gotta sail in here. can't go around like that. I forgot. There you go. Oh yeah, you actually can. You just have to hold cruise. I think it's over here, actually. It was right here. No, maybe not. Maybe it was over here. No. Oh. It's on my right ear now. I don't know if this is it. That's oh, on my left ear. Yeah, there we go. And there's a treasure chest. I don't know what's in here, but we'll see. Ah, purple rupee. That was very much worth my time. Very much. Well, maybe it is Dragon Roost Island, the one that looks like a footprint. 
Yeah, actually, I, th I think it might be. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is a good place to stop for now, maybe, I hope. We got a few, we got some treasure charts. I mean, we got two Triforce charts, open the rest of our charts, and then got the thing on, on Six Eye Reef. Wait, is that not it? No, that wasn't it. It's right here. Right in this thing. Well, there's one here. And then there's another one. That we have to go back for. And that's a, oh, that's just a yellow rupee. Not very worthwhile. Oh, you can see the moon going up now. So it's like right around in here. I need to listen. I think it might be here. Yep, there it is. Because I heard it in both ears. Oh, and this one looks a little rusty. Maybe not. And we get a silver rupee. One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. So yeah, now we... That's the actual thing that was here. Yeah, 922 rupees. Oh, treasure chart number six. That's what it was. So yeah. Um, This episode, we got... We got some, we got two Triforce charts. We uh, got a few more squares filled in. Got a few more squares filled in. Um, we also opened up some stuff here. Opened up some treasure chests in the Six Eye Reef. And uh, yeah, I, th I think that's pretty good for this one. Of course, I didn't do very much in this episode, so uh, hopefully next time I can know what to do. Oh, I do know what to do next time, actually. And then... And then I, I don't know. In the beginning of next episode, I know what to do. But I don't know what to do for the rest of it. So, we'll see what happens next time. Oh, before I leave, I want to show you a weird video that I recorded a long time ago, in 2014 maybe, when I played Wind Waker for the first time on my own when I was playing it. I got pushed outside of the boat by one of those um, gunboats and Link was just kind of walking in the air for a few seconds. I paused the game so you don't see where Link was pushed out of the boat, but you'll see him walking in the air for a few seconds before he snaps back into the boat. So I thought that was really weird. And uh, that was around one of the reefs. It might have been this one. I'm not really sure. So um, goodbye for now.